Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 9 of Windbreakers. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, today! <laughs> God! Super freaking intense. Oh, damn, babe. Oh! Did you just round us? Get into his ass. Not the jacket at all! Oh. Mm. You may not get it now, but you'll get it later. Holy shit. And if you get your ass beat, then... Oh, he's got to be done right there.
Okay, hold up. Time out real quick. You would have thought that after that moment, literally him screaming, pulling his hair out, that somebody, how Joe could have got up and been like, hey, yo, okay, hey, hey, let's stop. But he knows Choji. Everybody knows their leader, Choji. So that's why they're not getting up and close to him because they know if they get any somewhat remotely close to him, it's smack damn, you go into the ground, that's it. I, I would be terrified, but still, he just had a freaking nervous breakdown in front of all of you. All of y'all, and none of y'all got up. Excuse me. Oh, shit. That's the one thing you don't want anybody to do to, like, dead us having a nervous breakdown in front of someone. Because it just, it, it's one, like, for the person who is having that breakdown in front of them, it is super embarrassing and humiliating and stuff. It's like you, you have that, like, sense of passage and honor about yourself and you're like, oh shit, I don't want this to happen. And so when it does, you feel some type of way. I, I think he's going to be fine. Um, it, It's just, to, uh, Choji is the real question. And he still looks good. <laughs> damn. You still won't get that freedom. Did he really just do that? What the fuck? Is this what we do in show? Um...
Well, I mean, because at that time, he wasn't a leader. It's not going to hurt you. Now, if, it, if this group, both of these groups don't become friends or cool... going to turn off, isn't it? No? I mean, you would think that because, like, okay, mind-wise, if that turned off, that also meant Toji's mind is off and such, and it's going back to normal, but no. That's you. No. Oh. The whole facade he's just put on. Mm -hmm. Your eyes ain't going, aww. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Nobody really asked you. Mm-hmm. And you suffered all by yourself.
So you try to keep them together, but that's why. Because your hands are so bloody. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Yeah, but oh, but you never did, huh? Not in the way that you expected. Wasn't what you wanted. Empty. Mm -hmm. That's when the darkness started coming in. The clouds and everything. <laughs> oh, too much. But see, here's the thing. At that moment, why didn't he tell anyone? I get it. Because sometimes you just don't want to tell your friends or anyone who you're close to, like, how you're feeling and such. And showing your emotions. I get that. But you have to. And one by one, everyone left you. Mm -hmm. And it ate away at you as well. You sure?
Wait, hold on! Whoa, 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 whoa! But he probably doesn't want it! Right? Fresh start. Ain't gotta worry about anything. No more stressing. <laughs> you guys can go home. Go home. There we go. No more raining. Oh my god. Yay. Oh, we end on a happy note. That's it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, seriously. Choji and everyone else in Lion's Head really just needs a fresh coat of paint. A fresh start to just not go the same route that he did. It's very, like, oh, God, this was... These last episodes, especially for anyone... Excuse me. On uh, Toji team, like, Jesus, God, like, everybody had depressing moments. Like, Jesus. And, and I'm not saying that, like, in a bad way. I'm saying that in a good way. But the fact is that, like, how Toji was feeling, Joe was the only one who kept everything together and you know of course that that's a lot of stuff that he has to personally put, uh, put on and such and I get it he's not showing that facade to like someone who he really cares about but at the end of the day you all care for each other you all are kind of a family you have to talk to each other about certain things like that and I get it because you don't want to. You have your own personal vendettas and feelings and it's like that. You don't want to show your feelings to, you know, other mates and it's like that. You need to show your fucking feelings like on the motherfucking day, I'm saying. If there is any little fucking moment, regardless, if there's any little, like, if someone makes you feel some type of way, you tell them. Did you know that? Oh my god. <laughs> But thank God everything ended on a good and happy note. And so this is going to be a, a really good start of a beautiful friendship, I think, for these two. And whatever happens in the remainder of, like, how many episodes we have left, I want to say five, maybe? Five or four. I'm going to one of the two. Um, I don't really know because, like, yeah, th this was a really long arc for this because, like, episodes was just going and going and going. I'm like, damn, shit getting good. But no, this last fight, even when he was on top of Ume, beating him to the pulp, and he still looked good. And he even bit him. I'm like, uh oh, oh so that's why we're going with show. We're doing that. I never would have think, well, no, I've seen, okay, here, here's my thing. As someone who has, who went to a high school that was known for fights and such, um, in the four years that I was there, I maybe only saw under 10 or under five. On a good day, <laughs> on a good day, DJ, I can't with myself. Um, it, it depended. I, I think the worst fight that I probably saw was, I think it was my first year, my first or second year, and homegirl just got her butt kicked. And normally, because if it's girls, there's all, we're always fighting over a guy and such. Or someone says something bad online and ish and whatever. Heck, there was a moment where, like, I cannot believe I'm about to talk about this. No, nothing really happened in the end because I, I, I'm i not one of them type of girls who I'm like, I'm going to fight with my fist. I fight with my mouth. I really do. 
and such. And so, uh, all right, so long story short, there was this girl who I, I'm still somewhat friends with her, but, um, she said something to one of my close friends that rubbed me the wrong way and such. And I was like, I'm about to get this girl. Now, mind you, the year before, one of my other friends had problems with this girl and such, right? And we were on a trip together. And so she did something. And my friend was like, I'm about to put this girl up. And I was like, hey, 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 please don't. I was like, we're not home. I was like, I don't need you to get sent home because of this and such. Be good. Don't do it. And so now we get to my year, a.k.a. my turn, and this girl wants to act some type of way with me over saying some ish and being mad about ish I said. I was like, oh, this girl really wants ish. And, and I was like, you know what? Because like, And everyone was like, oh, my God, DJ, are you going to do something? I was like, you know what? No. I was like, you know why? Because she's not worth my motherfucking time. She's not even worth, like, the air that I freaking breathe. Let her be over there, be pissy, be bitchy, whatever, and such. Now, looking at me now on the HIM, if I need to, yes, I will, you know. <laughs> do it if I have to but I try not to because one I'm I'm like see I, I'm classy I don't do that shit like I said I talk with my mouth not with my hands like yes even though I do a lot of this I'm not gonna <laughs> that because I'm too good for that I'm just saying but really yeah if, if a person really tried me like <laughs> we don't talk about that one either but no like seriously be mindful of what you say to people. Duh. Because you never know. One minute you're going to be like, <laughs> and then somebody's just going to have their hand up, and then psh, next thing you know, a fight ensued. But yeah, always be mindful on how and what you say. Don't, don't fight with your hands, fight with your words, and such. Make sure you get someone who is on the same freaking level as you. Mm -hmm, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Don't play fight in school either because they will get you for that. Mm hmm. Yes. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 9 of Windbreaker. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.